were, were there were there moments there where you thought this isn't this isn't right for me or you know I'm I'm no good at this uh, uh did you have doubts about what you the, the course you were on um yes I for a little bit I did um so the biggest part of my journey that I would say that was most pivotal and most important for me was cutting off those old friends that I had or what I thought was friends um once I got rid of them and I was probably I think that was in the fourth, probably the fourth month that I was doing the sport. I just cut them off. Um, if I didn't make money in this sport, if I didn't inspire, because this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to start doing, I, I want to win, but what's more important for me is showing that anyone can do this sport because I do think it brings people happiness. I do think that once you're a part of something great and you're part of a team that cares for you, happiness comes. You'll find happiness within yourself because they will make you believe in yourself. Like, and it sounds dumb, like if you've never done this, but just try it and I it's it, it will change your life but uh, that fourth the four, uh, the fourth month mark for me was pivotal because I cut them off I didn't want any part of the negativity uh, they made me feel like I didn't I couldn't do the sport even though when I went into the gym I knew I could I was getting better at it um, I wasn't doing everything correctly but compared to the first month I was there I made leaps and bounds of progress and so I knew I could do it I knew like when I was there, I knew I could do it. But the moment I went home and started hanging around those crappy friends, that was when I started second guessing myself and saying I couldn't do it. So, but once that part, like once I got rid of them, that, that I knew I could do it. Um, I just, I didn't realize that they were holding me back for so many years. I was friends with them. Um, they were holding me back from doing anything that I really wanted because they told me that it doesn't pay well. You can't do that. You can't have a family with that. And so when I finally cut them off, I realized I can do anything I want in my life. That uh, a group encouragement it sounds like it was it was really uh, it was really essential for your progress for your uh, transformation. And was there? Well, so you said uh, you went to you recently you know, competed in the the Pan American Challenge or uh, Championship. How'd you do? Just. Um, so it was my first major. Uh, I was extremely nervous. Uh, I lost my first round. Um, I've never weight cut before. Like, um, for people that don't know, um, there's, how do I word it? There are, uh, weight limits or like weight classes. There we go. Um, so like I was in super heavy. So 222, um, every competition I've ever done prior to this, I've never had to cut weight because I weighed so much that they didn't have a weight class for me. So if you weigh 222 and above, you could go against someone that's 500 pounds. Like, there's just no, there's no weight limit. So I was finally at a weight that I was comfortable to compete at. Um, and so, like, I never really cut weight. Like, I've lost weight, obviously. Um, but cutting weight was a little difficult for me. And so that day of, I ran four miles to cut three pounds. Um, and when I was running that, I didn't, I, I was like, okay, I didn't come this far to come this far. Like, you know, I'm going to make the weight and once I make the weight, well, the challenges after that will be different, you know, but I'm not going to not make the weight. I'm not going to let Heath down. Who's my coach right now. Um, and I'm just not going to not make weight. So I ran the four miles, made the weight, went to compete and I was about to win the match. I had a Kimura locked in. Kimura is a submission. Um, it is the way you manipulate a shoulder. You could, um, won't go into too much detail about that one. But I had it locked in. Um, I was completely dehydrated, hadn't eaten the whole day, and I had my body locked up. So I ended up losing the points. I believe it was, I don't remember the points, but I locked the points. Um, but needless to say, uh, I'll be back next year. Now I know what I have to do to cut weight. Don't cut weight the day of. Um, and then everyone kind of told me, it was unless you're going to get paid, don't cut the weight. Just compete at whatever weight you're at. But uh, it was a learning curve. <laughs>